Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Oh. Rejoice because this is the day of rest. Amen. So, today I will be preaching about God's command that stops this pain. So let us pray. Father God, Abba Shiva Shaman. You are our God. We are your people. You are our master. We are your servants. And most of all, you are our father and we are your children. I pray, Father God, that today we will be able to put in our heart your command in Matthew 28, 1920, the Great Commission. The command which you said will stop the despair of men. I pray, Father, that you will anoint my lips. Only the words you want me to speak today will I speak to your people. And I command all the warring angels of God, angels of assignment, ministering angels of God, to surround this place, protect this place from the evil one. I forbid the devil from interfering in our worship service for the Father who is in heaven in the mighty name Yeshua Messiah I declare and decree that the Holy Spirit will manifest in our midst and that even those who have not been with us but they will be watching the recorded worship service today the Holy Spirit will never leave them but will always be with them so that the divine word of God will always be with us and so that God will remain in us. In the mighty name Yeshua Messiah, I pray. Amen. Amen. So we have already read the scriptural verse Luke 7, 11 to 17. Introduction, God is eternal and he is a self existing God. Self-existing because no one created God. He is the one who created all. That's why before he created all, he has already been existing by himself. God shares his blessedness to all who are in him. And he sent his only begotten son, Yeshua HaMasiah, to bring life and light to this dark world. So we have to understand that before Yeshua Messiah came, this world was in darkness because the ruler of this world is the devil and the devil has no light because he is full of lies. So when we are a liar, we are full of darkness and only the light of God can give us the light. Amen. So hence, to all who are lost in despair, in these in trials and troubles in life, Yeshua Messiah remains to be our, to, remains to be their light, their comfort, and their redeemer. Yeshua Messiah is our rock and our salvation. When he said to Peter, you are the rock, and upon this rock, I will build my church. Many believe that he was commanding us the rock for Roman Catholic Church. That is wrong. There is nothing in the Bible that says that he is only the rock. And what more is that? He was made a pope. If you read the Bible from Genesis chapter 1 to the last book of Revelation, book of Revelation chapter 22, the last part of the Bible, you can never find the word Pope because it was Emperor Constantine who appointed Peter to be the first Pope. But God, Yeshua Messiah, did not appoint any Pope. During the time before Yeshua Messiah came, he only, the God the Father only appointed 
priest. But I don't know why this religion still until today have priest. When during the time of Yeshua Messiah, he only appointed one apostles, second prophets, third evangelists, four pastors, and the fifth is teacher. There is no appointment for Pope. There is no appointment for priest. And the difference is, during the Old Testament, God was telling Moses, Moses, you prepare dresses for Aaron and his two sons to become my priest. And they will minister to me. God appointed him as priest to minister to whom? To God. Now, our pastors, our evangelists, our teachers, and prophets, they are ministering to whom? To us, the children of God. So that is the difference why during the time of Yeshua Messiah, there was no longer priest. Amen po? So we should understand that when he said, Peter... The name of Peter is actually Simon, Simon Barjuna. That's his name. But God changed his name into Simon Peter. The original Greek word of Peter is Petros, which means rock. But the real rock is who? Yeshua, Hamasaya, the Son of God. So, he is the big rock and the small rock is Peter. So, through Yeshua Messiah, God fulfilled His covenant and promised to Abraham that in His seed, all the nations in the world would be blessed. His promise to Abraham, I will make you the father of many nations. So, I will change your name from Abraham. The meaning of the word Abraham in Aramaic is the, uh, the exalted, father, the exalted. And when he changed it from Abraham to Abraham, Abraham means the father of many nations. When we hear about the word nation or we can read in the Bible the word nation, it does not refer to countries. Nation means different kinds of people. Filipinos, one nation. Americans, one nation. And if you look at the Bible, Thessalonica, we have been reading Thessalonians because they belong to the country Thessalonica. Amen? Romans, Rome. And the, uh, what, what else? It actually, Philippians. Philippians, they are the people, nation. What is the country? Philippi. It's not pronounced Philippi, it's Philippi. Philippi is the country and the people there are called Philippians. So we have the book of Philippians. Amen po? Genesis chapter 22 verse 18. And in your seed, all the nations of the earth shall be blessed because you have Obey my voice. What was the voice that, that Abraham heard? Abraham, leave your country, leave your family, and leave your people, and go to a place where I will show you. And where did he go? He went to Canaan. At the time, Canaan, it is called Canaan because Canaan actually is the eldest daughter, a eldest son of the son of Noah, I think she. Okay? After the flood, there were only eight people who were saved. Noah, his three sons, and their four wives. So eight people were saved. Everybody, including animals, people, they were all dead. Because of the flood. So, after the flood, there were only all of us came from that tree 
sons of Noah. And one of the sons gave birth to the first son. What's the name of the son? Canaan. So that's why the place is called Canaan. There is Danube in, I think it's in France. Danube actually came from Dan. One of the tribes is Dan. So, when there was already, they were trying to uh, capture Israel, they were going, they went to, actually to Europe. So, the people, the, the, all the children of Dan and their brothers, sisters, their children, they took over a place and they called the, that place Danube. May binibintang products dyan ay company ko yan lang yan. Before they take over a place, they will name the name of the place according to the tribe of people who occupy that place. Amen po. So, I was saying that God Promise to Abraham from your seed. Remember, it is not plural. He did not see seeds, but he said, but he said, I will make you as many as the suns in the seashore and as many as the stars in heaven. But God said, from your seed, I will bless you. So I will call you the father of many nations. Not plural, singular seed, because the seed refers to whom? Yeshua HaMasiyah. So through Yeshua HaMasiyah, all nations will be blessed that would come from Mary, Mary, and Joseph. Joseph comes from the tribe of, the tribe of Judah, which is, they call it, the kingly tribe. King David came there. But the king who rebelled, the, who rebelled, uh, Jeroboam came from Ephraim. And you know who is Ephraim? The son of Joseph, Ephraim and Manasseh. Amen po. Mainly they would like to name their children Manasseh and Ephraim. To me, I, I do not like it. Because if we follow the monology that we have learned, the spirit will also the same spirit that will live in a person you will name. That's why be very careful when you name your children. Do not just choose because you know that ah, it's very nice name. Amen. So, first point, the Son of God heals the world. He sent His Son to the world so that the world may have his blessedness through his son. So always remember our misfortunes, trials, problems do not come from God. God has sent his son so that we will be blessed. So I repeat, he sent his son to the world so that the world may have blessedness through his son. Who is his son? Yeshua Hamasela. Kaya, marami, paghirap na hirap na, sino ang biniblame? Si Lord. Mali po yan. There is only one who will attack us and who wants to to see us suffering and that is the devil. But, God will not stop the devil from attacking if there is open door in our body. What is the open door? We will have open door if we did something wrong that is not pleasing to the eyes of God. Amen. So, First John chapter four verse nine. By this, the love of God was revealed in us that God has sent His only Son into the world so that we may live through Him. Amen. However, despair and hopelessness is always lurking for a shadow of misfortunes 
hangs over the world and people are weary. Why? Because the world is not under the Son of God. Unless the Son of God would come back and punish the devil, the devil is still the ruler of this world. Amen? So while Satan is still the, the ruler of this world, he would always send demons to attack us so that he will be clapping his hands if we are suffering. That is what he wants. He wants the people to suffer. And when we suffer, people will curse God. They would blame God so we will commit sins. And later on when we die, where will we go? We will not go to heaven. Where will we go? To the lake of fire because we curse God. Amen po. That's why we should be very careful what will come out of our mouth. No, before I became born again, madali ako, grabe ang dila ko talaga. Alam niya ni princess, anak ko. Kaya, what did I do? When I became born again, and God showed me that it is a sin, what I did, I withdrew. I said, Lord, in your mighty name, I withdraw all whatever forces I have done by deeds, by, by uh, what do you call this, by our, our word, and by anything that is in our heart, in our mind. If we will not withdraw, it's a curse. Example, you did not actually curse your children, but because you are angry in your mind, you and in your heart, you are thinking and you feel something. Ay, sana maganito. That is a curse. You mean po? That's why God told me before, 90% of our sins is not because we uh, battered our helper or we did not give salary to them or we, we uh, said something bad against them. But our sins, 90% came from our nasty thoughts. We think. Do we do not say anything, but our thoughts is, you know, it's running wild. Trying to hope that this person that you are angry, there is something that will happen. That is a curse. You mean what? So, there is always despair. Yeshua Messiah has compassion for this world and thus desires to heal the world. That's why, what did I say? The Son of God came to heal the world. And give God's happiness. So God only desires that we will be happy. If you are happy in your life, it means God is working in your life. Amen po. And the Lord who met with the widow of Nain in the, in the path of despair is the Lord of us all. It was not only the, the Lord of that dead man or that widow, the mother, but he is actually the Lord of all. He is the light who came to destroy darkness. Amen. Luke chapter 7 verse 16. Fear gripped them all. And they began glorifying God saying, A great prophet has appeared among us and God has visited his people. Amen. The Lord is with us by the Holy Spirit. 1 Corinthians 3.16 do you not know that you are a temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? Amen? Now, I will explain. When we become born again, the Spirit of God comes into our heart. But what happened? When we are angry, that's why be very careful, you will not be angry in your office. Especially if you are the... Uh, what you call that? You are the supervisor and you do that like so. You you think that we are subordinates and you get angry. Why? 
And here is number one that will open your life to the attack of the devil. Because anger is not from God. It comes from the devil. Anything that you have, jealousy, envy, doubt, worry, all of this belong to Satan. They do not belong to God. Now, when you have all this, where will they go? They live in our heart. Why? Do you want the Holy Spirit to go? I'm for sure, if you have this Holy Spirit who lives in us, when we receive Yeshua Messiah, we'll really go. Because the Spirit of God is holy, and the Spirit of Satan is unclean. They cannot live together in one place, our heart. Amen po. Maraming nagtanong sa akin yan. Why? Lately lang, may nagtanong sa akin. So, sabi ko, ibig sabihin, lumayas ang tanal na spirit. So, do not think that when the Holy Spirit resides in us after we receive Yeshua Masiya, what is your duty? To maintain. But we cannot maintain. Mahilig tayo magalit, mahilig magsilos. I mean po. Tapos kung greedy tayo, ay kailangan siraan ko ito para ako talaga ang mapromote. Amen po? Always be very careful of what we do. The person maybe does not know anything that you are a sick sick to the boss, but remember, the Holy Spirit is in us. Holy Spirit will live. Now, who is the loser? You are the loser. You have received the promotion you have received salary increase, but money cannot buy peace of mind. Money cannot give you, cannot buy you the Holy Spirit so that the Holy Spirit will run and go back to your heart. Amen po? So, what, what shall we fear? Of course. What we, they are, we are talking about despair. We will be despair. Many pastors always try to uh, send text to me. Disha, please help me. Pray for me because I am experiencing spiritual dryness. Sabi ko, bakit nagkakaroon na spiritual dryness? How can you experience spiritual dryness if you are always praying, reading the Bible, and you are doing only the things of God? Why? Ibig sabihin nga, natulog na walang prayer. Ito, tandaan po ninyo. You cannot, hindi natin pwedeng lukuhin ang Diyos. He knows what is going on in our life. Ibig po. So, the Lord is with us by the Holy Spirit. 1 Corinthians 3.16 As I said, Do you not know that you are a temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? So, it will dwell in us because we are the temple of God. But I was explaining that if we engage in things that belong to Satan, Holy Spirit will fly away. Amen po. And it will take time, it will take time to Come back. Amen po. God does not only save us from the misfortunes of this world, but wants us to live happily in His eternal kingdom. John chapter 14, verses 2 to 3. In my Father's house are many rooms. If that were not so, I would have told you, because I am going there to prepare a place for you. Verse 3, And if I go and prepare a place for you, I am coming again and will take you to myself so that where I am, there you also will be. This is the promise of Yeshua Masya before He ascended to heaven. He said, I will go to heaven and prepare a place for you. When it is ready, 
I will come back and take you upon myself so that where I am, you will be there also. So, if you look at the plan of God, the plan of God is to give us happiness. The plan of God is to bless us. The plan of God is to prepare a place so that we will actually be forever with God in heaven. Amen. So, there is no despair in the gospel. If we listen to the gospel, what I am telling you now is the gospel, there is no despair. Let us remember that the gospel which overcomes despair is made alive through our action. Amen po? Pag nagburi ka and you hear the word of God, it will change. Magpaiyak ka pa ngayon. And after that, you feel that your entire body is light. Amen po? And you can sleep because you experience peace. Amen po? So, let us repent and restore our soul and change our hearts and actions in order to overcome despair and hopelessness. When we are hopeless, we want to die. Hopeless eh. Yung naramdaman ko noon. I experience all these things. Kung baga, bago ako nag-born again, I am like a basakan na sira-sira na. Only God, with His love and compassion and mercy, put me back again and make me whole. Amen po? So, Let us always remember that God's blessedness is a privilege given to those who proclaim the gospel. That's why always share the gospel. Always share. Kung may baguhan tayo dito, lapitan ninyo. Huwag niyong atayin na sabihin kayo, ay patanggapin niyo. Automatic, lapitan niyo. Brad, nakatanggap ka na ba kayo doon? Kung wala pa, ganito po, ganito po. You know already, if you are always listening to my live streaming, ending talaga natin live streaming is the sinner's prayer. Ang sinner's prayer po, if we need someone of sinner's prayer, that is the way to become born again. Amen po. Walang ritual po. Just a prayer. Because the prayer, when we pray, we are talking to God. When we read the Bible, it is God talking to us. Yan po. Pero hindi mo pwedeng iwanan ang isa dyan. Sabayin mo. Amen po? Second point, the gospel is power to end despair. The gospel is the power of the merciful God which puts an end to all despair and hopelessness. The way though, from the city of Nain, whose only son died, could have been in deep sorrow and great despair, for no one would be with her anymore. Remember, she had only one son, and he and she was also a widow, meaning the husband already died. So, when the son died, who would take care of him? Her? No one. Who would help her? No one. Amen po? She had struggled with her life when she faced with another trouble when her only son had died. Amen? This widow had to face the worst two things in the world that most are hardly able to stand. Pag you cannot stand of the problems of the trials of the widow, ayan, magbigti nga. Magsisad nga. Amen po? Ako, when I experienced that, dahil kasi galing ako sa military, siguro lima or pito ang aming, ano yung para pang hadis? Granada. Granada. We have Granada ako because my husband was working abroad. So I'm not scared. 
Dahil pag talaga mag-ano ka sa akin, papatayin ko talaga kayo. Isang ano lang ng granada. Hindi kasi ako born again. Kaya ang isip ko talaga, better kill you first than you will kill me. Maunahan lang kasi yan eh. Ang, ang idea ko kasi, maunahan ito. I mean po? So, marami granada, merong 45 caliber revolver. Okay? Kung siya chopper ka, diretsuhin mo dito na, para huwag nila yan mabuhay. <laughs> Sa totoo lang. <laughs> oh. Kaya, one day po, one day, ang husband ko dumating, pero nagkataon, nag-pigsa revolusyon. Ako, Marcos, siya po rin. <laughs> Hindi kami magkakasundo. Umalis siya sa bahay. I will go to Isa. Nakita ko talaga, huwiga doon sa Isa. My God, magpakamatay siguro kasama ko. Hindi-hindi pa ng mga anak namin. Diba? Sabi ko, nagbidro pa na siya ng pera. So para akong nag-discourage, sabi ko, kung namatay siya, hindi ko alam. Kung may matira sa pira, ginawa niya lahat doon time deposit. So, sabi ko, aw, oh, ito pala ang gusto niya. Ay, magpakamatay din ako. I mean po. So, ang apat na mga anak ko, binilhan ko ng magandang damit. At nilagyan ko sila ng pampatulog. At pinauwi ko ang mga helper. It's only my four children and me. Pinabinihisan ko sila after silang kumain. Sabi nila, Mama, where are we going? Sabi ko, ah, matulog muna tayo when we wake up. We go somewhere else. Ang next na tanong, ah, where is Papa? Is Papa coming with us? Sabi ko, ah, he will meet us somewhere there. But, isipan ko, pag natulog na itong anak ko, ang, alam mo ba ang revolver? Six ka, ano yan? Six ka bullets. Apat ang anak ko. So, para sigurado, patulogin ko, lapitan ko pag wala na, dahil inisip ko, if I will not kill my children, I will kill only myself, my husband is still young. So she would marry another woman. When she marry another woman, I don't know whether that woman would take care of my children. Baka api-apiin ang anak ko. Siguraduhin ko, dalhin ko ang mga anak ko. Okay? Yan ang plan ko. So, dalawang, dalawang matira para sa akin. Ito na. On that night na gusto kong magpakamatay at magpakamatay na kaming lahat, may party sa kapitbahay namin. Next talaga. Nasa subdivision kami eh. So sabi ko na po, pag marinig nila ang kutok, o limang kutok yan, anin. Tatakbo lang yan sila dito. Dahil very close kami sa subdivision. First, First house kami. So, ang next house, sabi ko, antayin ko na lang until the party would be over. Hindi talaga ako sumagot nung ako'y sinundo at bakunta nilang party. Wala naman akong ganang kumain. Dahil nakaset ng mind ko eh. That's why I know, when you are in despair, you always think, and you have no God, you will always think, this is the best way to go. Dahil naranasan ko talaga yan. Okay? So, tulog ng mga anak ko. Sabi ko, one o'clock natapos ang kanilang party. After natapos ang party nila, pumasok na ko. Nagsuot ako ng damit sa kasal. Dahil sabi ko, para pag uwi na asawa ko, magkita niya, ayan, nagdamit ako ng kasal. Pumasok na ako sa room, ba't ito po ang nangyayari? This is the sala. Ito po yung door namin papunta sa, uh, ma anong tawag niyan? Master's bedroom. When I was holding the door knob to open, suddenly I heard a voice. Kaya alam ko talaga when I became born again and I became a pastor until I became a bishop that from the beginning of time, God already told me. So, Ganito po ang pagkasabi niya. Sabi niya, Anak, remember, I'm not born again. So, sabi ng Bible, we become born again because from the foundation of the world, God has already chosen us to become His 
Siyempre, walang mabor na gen kung hindi ka pinili. So, alam ko noon na pinili na ako dahil when I opened the door, suddenly I heard a man's voice saying, Anak, huwag mong gawin niya. You are not alone. And then when I heard the word, you are not alone, I started crying. I started crying. I cried. I cried. I was not able to enter the door. I was holding the 45 caliber revolver. Nagising ako dahil that was on a plot. Biglang umuwi ang asawa ko. Then siya kinabahan. Kinabahan siya. So, umalis siya doon sa kanyang drama-drama niyang si Cory Aquino. At sumakay siya ng uh, may, may bulilit flight noon eh. Sumakay siya ng bulilit flight. I was working in EBS-CBN, so we were living in Cebu. Pumunta siya sa Cebu, para Manila. Pag open niya ng door, nakita niya ako doon na dala ko yung tawag nito uh, revolver at tulog ako. Pinatulog talaga ako ni Lord para wala akong gagawin. Na, nagising ako dahil bigla niya akong ginawakan. Umiyak siya ba? Hinak niya ako. Bakit ginawa mo ito? Bakit ginawa ko mo? Pamabamalik naman ako dito. Yung nagising ko. Sumidor mo ako. Iba ka ka? <laughs> Galit ka. <laughs> See? That's how God sent me. God. God is really very mysterious. That's why I, after that, I did not attempt anymore because I know God is truly holding my, my, my life. Amen po. So, mula noon, well, anyway, ako kasi mahilig ako mag-save ng tira. Ang asawa ko, limang, limang certificates na, anong tawag niya? Ah, uh, ang Isa lang nakuha niya. Hmm. Meron pa akong maapat. Save. Mahilig ako mag -save. Ano ako? Mahilig ako mag-save. I always want na hindi ako mabusa ng pira din. Apat na anak ko. So, yan po ang nangyari. Mula noon, my husband never ever talk anything na ma ano ako dal natatakot siya. Pag umalis ako, saan ka punta? Akala niya ba ako magpasagasa ako sa ulit sa akin? Alaw niya ako So, ganyan po. I am telling now that the Bible, that the despair that the Bible is talking about is not a simple na in despair ka. No, it is something inside your heart that you would even decide to read this word. Amen po? Yan po ang matindi. Now, this is what the widow of uh, the in city was uh, was feeling at the time. She felt in despair. This widow had to face the worst two things in the world and most are hardly able to stand. Her son brought meaning to her life and sustained her. Sustaining life as a widow would have been a gloomy situation. The widow was totally in despair. However, on her way along with her son's coffin, she happened to meet with Yeshua Hamasaya. The Son of God told the widow in despair, Don't cry. And commanded her dead son, young man, get up. The dead young man was raised up and those who saw the shocking sin give glory to God. Amen. Luke chapter 7 verses 16 to 17. Fear seized them all and they glorified God, exclaiming, A great prophet has arisen in our midst, and God has visited these people. Verse 17 This report about him spread through the whole of Judea, Malapipong Judea, and in all the surrounding region. If the widow had not met Yeshua Masaya, she would have fallen into a severely miserable life living alone. But she met with the Son of God in the darkness of despair, thereby gaining hope and joy. Yeshua Masaya brought life back to his own 
least sum. And the most, but the most probable resurrection is that of Lazarus, brother of Mary and Martha. Mary and Martha, brother Lazarus. If you are always talking about Mary Magdalene, the, bra the, the sister of Lazarus Mary is actually Mary Magdalene. Amen. There is a passage in the Bible when Yeshua HaMasiah, a woman, came with an alabaster jar of perfume, very expensive. She broke it and she was the the feet of Yeshua was Hamasiya with a perfume. It was Mary, Magdalene. Out of Mary, Yeshua Hamasiya cast out seven demons. Kaya para sa kanya po, buhay, bagong buhay po. That's why, talagang, nag, kung saan si Jesus, sa mama yan siya sa mga babae, in charge of cooking, the dishes po, kinakain nila. Amen po? So, I, I was saying, Yeshua Hamasiya brought life back to his son. But the most talked about resurrection, which only most of the churches preach, is the resurrection of Lazarus, brother of Mary and Martha. And the Bible also says that after the resurrection of Christ, the saints who died ahead of Yeshua Hamasiya resurrected from the dead with their tombs open and they appeared in the city. Amen. This is Christ's gospel. The gospel that overcomes all forms of despair and brings new life to those who belong to the Son of God. The public ministry of Yeshua Messiah is all about declaring the Holy Word of God that the kingdom of God is at hand, healing the sick, casting out the demons, and resurrecting the dead. So, apat yan, dapat all churches today must be hands on the sick to perform healing, they must preach the gospel, they must resurrect the dead, and cast out demons. Dito sa Middle East, dalawa lang ang church na nag-cast out ng demons. Ayaw nila. Bakit kaya? Yan ang iniwan ni Lord na trabaho sa atin. Bakit natin iiwasan? Amen po? So, I am saying that Christ's gospel is the one that overcomes all forms of despair. And He ended it with crucifixion, resurrection, and ascension to heaven. All that Yeshua Masya did is what we call Christ's gospel. The gospel that overcomes the sorrows, the trials, the sicknesses, and curses that mankind has experienced while on earth because of the presence of the devil. But the same gospel has made us overcome the bad things that happen to us. That's why it is always good that you listen to the gospel. Kung may mga kupya kayo sa preaching po, nagkasagit kayo, you listen to the preaching. You know why? Because the word of God helps. In the book. Third point, George forces this fear to disappear. Ah, ayaw natin magsiba. You will find Ang despair, alis dyan. Amen po? The church, which is the body of Christ, has fallen into the swamp of despair. It is natural for Christians who believe Yeshua Hamasaya and are saved to live their faith lives with all of their hearts and strength. However, there are two kinds of Christians. Those who devote their lives to their faith life and those who meet minimum requirements to enter heaven. Amen po? Ah, okay na to. Hindi na tayo kailangan mag Bible study dahil kasi makapasok na tayo. So yan po ang tinatawag minimum requirement. What is the minimum requirements? Be born again. Receive Yeshua Masiya. 
eyes call upon his name, then you will enter heaven. Ang problema lang dyan, if we are not obedient, hanggang wait lang, hindi mag-open ang gate. Amen po? Yan ang sinasabi sa kasal ng hari na sabi niya, he saw one of those attendants without not wearing the the robe for the wedding. So sabi niya, he asked the servants, okay, tie him up and throw him outside. Ayan po, that is a that is a parable of what will happen to us in the book. So, however, as I said, there are two kinds of Christians. Tandaan po natin, Christian that always serve God and will will always will always lead a very obedient faith life and the other type of Christian only wants to meet the minimum requirements to enter heaven. In fact, when all of those come to church for the first time, they would experience being freed from their sins and be greatly touched. But unfortunately, many of them end up failing to maintain the first day's inspiration and even totally losing it. Pag bago pang nabon again, very active, abutan na na yan ng ibang ilang fans, marami ng alibay. Pag gusto, maraming paraan. Kung ayaw, maraming dahilan. Oh, kaya po, sabi ka rin Bishop, ay Bishop, malayo kami, hindi ako makapagsiba. Sabi ko, di ba, pag gustong gusto mo, marami paraan. Pag ayaw, marami dahilan. Amen po? Sino ang niluko natin? Sarili. Sarili natin, we are only fooling ourselves. Ultimately, we will go to the lake of fire. Even po, why? You're always lying. You're a liar. Always lying. Diba? When you read Galatians chapter 5, anong sabi dyan? Liar. Mga idolater. Mga, oh, lahat. Minention dyan. Drunkenness. Even po? So, People are easily hurt, both physically and mentally, in the circumstances that are governed by wealth. Pagpira ng pag-usapan. Ilang members dito sa church? Inupira ng work. Hindi makapagsimba noon. Ang simba noon Friday. Dahil nga, malaki ang sahod. Pumunta sila dahil they belong to another, tawag nito, yung UAE exchange, anong tawag niya? Exchange and debt. Malaki ang sahod sa UAE exchange. Pumunta sila. Even yung dalawang baklar na giging lalaki dito, pumunta. Ngayon, nasaan ang UAE exchange? Wow! Kaya na, Satan, when he offered us alternative job, only for temporal. Darating niya nga raw, Kaya, never always go after big salary. Wait until God will give us. Alam mo, paano mo malaman that galing yan kay Lord? Pag nagtanong ka kay Lord, what will you feel? You will feel peace in your heart. Pag kinabahan ka, ay naku, delikado ko yan. Huwag mong tanggapin. Alternative offer yan from the giver. Amen po? So, those who are exhausted with the daily life's hardship, even though they have received abundant grace from God, are not willing to focus on their spiritual lives. When we become religious, religiosity comes from the devil. When we are spiritual, spirituality comes from God. Amen po? Second Corinthians chapter 6 verse 4, but in everything, commending ourselves as servants of God, in much endurance, in afflictions, in hardships, in difficulties. Amen po? It is more likely, especially in the third developing countries, the Philippines belong to 
third developing countries. Kaya po, nakita mo ang mga Pilipinos na saan? Nag-go abroad, nag-go FW. Dahil kasi, lalo daw ngayon, hindi pa ako nakauwi ng Pinas, pero sabi ni Pas Junas, mahal na daw pa, hindi daw mga, ano, pag pumasok ka daw 1,000, ay naku, hindi lang daw nabili mo. I mean po? So that's my Filipinos. Wherever you go, you can find Filipino O F W. Why? Because of the hardship. I mean, but it is more likely, especially in the third developing countries, where people are fed up with violence and poverty. They are not able to pay attention to spiritual matters as they are troubled by matters in their daily lives. Pagising pa lang, Naku, ano ipakain sa mga na kusang di ako mong hiram? Ganyan. Isi ni mag-pray, maghanap ng saan mang hiram na ipakain ng mga anak. Amen po? At this point, church should be the place that makes the force of despair disappear. Where all seeds of curses perish and where God's happiness prevails. Kagabi lang kami nag-usap sa Bible study. Sabi ko sa kanila, alam nyo, napagod ako umuwi ng Pilipinas. Sabi ko sa asawa ko, pamasahihan natin ang ating mga anak para sila magpunta dito, makita nila, ay ganito pala ang country na pinagtrabahoan ng mama, papa ko. Bakit? Pag uwi namin ngayong gabi, magising na lang kami dahil ang hirpilat ito. Ma'am, sir, may naghanap. Pagdating sa baba, hindi mo naman kinata. Ay ako, yung kapatid, nag-trace na. Hindi naman, sir, kanilang ko yung anak ito. Pag pera ang hinabol, when I am telling this, I have experienced more than 20,000 na wala. Wala na talagang bumalik. Oh, tapos may style pa na, may style pa nagsabi sa akin na, Ma'am, Pwede samahan mo kami doon sa Cebu. Dumagiti kami nakatira. Sa Cebu, mag-apply daw ng passport. Pagdating doon, ako pa pala ang mga sahay sa kanila. Ako pa magbayad ng passport. Hindi lang ako nagreklamo. Praise God! Sa hindi ko pagreklamo, by the time ako ang nangangailangan, the Lord provides. Amen. Yan ang naranasan ko. Alam mo naman, naniloko ka. Kung ano gagawin mo? Suntokin mo sila. Hindi wala nga pira. Amen po. Pagtanungin mo ang mga anak ko, alam nila yan. Hinatig ko pa yan sa, sa Singapore noon. Ako bang gumasto lahat ng masahe sa tutulang. Why? May pumunta pa dyan. Ma'am, ako kasi, di ba? Television. Ma'am Lili, nagulat kami dahil hindi ka na nag-appear sa IBCBN. Nag-abroad ka pala. Tapos may nagsabi sa amin, dumating ka. Eh, yung anak ko ma'am, nasa hospital, wala akong pambayad. Masyak ka sa mga, well, kaya sugkuhan. See, nakaranasan ko lahat yan. Pero hindi ako nagsasalita. Sabi ko sa kanila, Sir, manghirap ka ng 10,000. Magbigay na lang ako ng 5. Huwag mo na lang ibalik. Dahil alam ko naman, hindi ibalik. Ibigay mo na lang. <laughs> Bakit idaan pa ng hiram-hiram? Eh, hindi naman talaga yan babayaya, mayaran. Ay, po, if gusto talaga tayong we want to help, ibigay mo na lang. Wala na kondisyon. Kaya nga, ganyan na wala ang pira. I mean po, pero yan talaga, mahirapan at kung magsinungaling na, ay, sister, wala akong kapira-pira dahil natakot din ako, mawala ako ng pira dahil kasi wala, ayaw ko talaga magsinungaling. So if I have the money, I will give. Okay. Hindi po problema sa akin. Kaya yan ang nalasan ko. Sa pag-abrood, abrood. So sabi ko sa asawa ko, ang pira na ipamigay natin, pamasahin na lang natin sa mga anak natin. Now, there is a law in the Philippines, unless within years old ang bata, they cannot be brought out of the Philippines. So ang ginawa ko, sabi ko sa kaibigan kong may ari ng travel agency, sabi ko sa kanya, i-prepare mo ang mga ano ng mga anak ko. On this day, magantay ako doon sa airport. So hindi ako makita sa yung nagantay lang sa akin. Hmm. Ang mga anak ko, di sa airport ng kaibigan ko, sinalong ko mga anak ko. Pag umuwi sila, father naman nila maghatid hanggang airport lang. Yan ang naisipan namin din. Nagkagulo 
matulog ka, gisingin ka, manghiram lang pala ng pira. Amen po. Oo, sa totoo lang. At panghiram yan, hindi talaga 1,000, 2,000, 10,000, 30,000. Para bang namulo na, na ano lang tayo? Oo. And I am telling you, this is the problem of OFW. Sabihin niyo ang aking style. Pakuntahin niyo mga anak niyo. Hindi talaga mag-druga, yan sila mag-ano sila, hindi talaga nila sirain ang buhay nila. Even if you are working at your wife, nakita nila ang place mo. Magagantahan sila. Uy, ganito pala dito sa abroad. See? Kaya praise God. Nag-graduate talaga sila. Uy, walang tatay, walang nanay. Amen po? Why? Sa anak mo na lang ibigay. Bakit? Pagdating doon sa school. Ano pa? Mag-inuman pa yan. Naku, sabi ko, counted nga ang araw natin sa pagbakasyon tapos hindi ka pa ma-enjoy. Mabuti pa. Ang mga anak ko papuntahin, ma-enjoy pa sila. Amen po? Therefore, these are the things that will give us hopelessness. Hopeless ka. Why? Gusto mong, ayaw mong gawin, pero, eh, pamilya, hala, eh, hindi mo ka kilala, nag-introduce sa si ano, kapatid ni ano, ay, naku, iwan ko. Dahil kung hindi pa ganyan, wala na ko talaga kayo may problema. Why? Eight, we are eight children. but hindi kami dumaan yung hiram-hiram? Dahil we are all professionals. Ang mga asawa namin, nag-abroad lahat din. Ang aking asawa is the only child tapos, may ari naman sila ng Asinda, Agustina. Wala talaga manghirap. Naku, ang manghirap na nagsabi na si Kadiri Kasin, gawin niya ano, tanong ko sa asama ko, sino ba yan? Sabi, hindi ko naman alam. Bigyan mo na lang para maka, ano tayo, makaalis. Oo, oh, sa totoo lang. Ay, I'm telling you, Mar, ganyan po, kalaki. Dahil kasi, bago ako nag-abroad, kilala ang kilala ang mukha ko dahil sa television. So, pag may nakita sila, sundan ka agad ako. Ayan na. May buklak pa. Nanggising na. So, mahirap po. Pero, I understood naman na siguro walang wala talaga talaga. Dahil hindi naman siguro sila pupunta ng ganyan, ganun kung talagang meron, di ba? Pero yun lang. You have to be ready na hindi talaga babalik ang mga piran niya. Amen po? Huwag mong singiling, pagalitan ka pa niyan, pag maningin ka. May one time nga na nangirang 50,000 pagkatapos may party sa bahay, pumunta ako mag-invite ng party. Naku, sumigaw. Alam mo naman, wala pa ko pira, naningil ka. Tingnan mo pa naman, ilang disipid na pumunta ako. I-invite ko nga eh. Kaya, all kinds of troubles. So, we can see, though you are working, you still have this despair. You will be despair. Now, you cannot stop that. Because despair belongs to Satan. And Satan will make sure na tayo ay mahihirapan. Even hindi ka nahirapan sa pira, ba? Nakawan ka ng pira dahil hindi babalik sa iyo yan eh. Mimit po? So, 2 Corinthians, it is more like, especially in the third developing countries where people are fed up with this violence and poverty. They are not able to pay attention on their spiritual side. That's why they are only thinking of money, money, and money, and money. Amen po. Pagdating dito, Mabuti na lang na work again, pero kung hindi nga na work again, na part-time dito, part-time dito. I mean po, ito so, man. That is the tool of Satan for us to nakawan tayo ng oras so that we cannot pray to God, we cannot commune with God. I mean po. At this point, church should be the place that makes the force of despair disappear where all seeds of curses perish, and where God's happiness prevails. Many people are bothered by the fear that they might be hurt again as they have been hurt in their 
private matters. You mean po? Ako, naka-boyfriend ba ako ng high school? Wala, takot ako. Uy, baka pa paiyakin lang ako niyan. Hmm. Eh, gusto kong palagi yung contact sa class. Tapos yung classmate ko, hmm, baka gusto lang ako dahil kasi parang hindi na ako magiging valediktorya. Kaya, inisip ko na yan. Sabi ko, no love life. Anyway, mamatay ba ako? Walang love life? Hindi naman. Sige. Yan ang inisip ko eh. Kaysa kung hindi siya po mag-good sa atin, pinag-agawan pa ako, yan ang maisip mo. Yan. Gusto nilang mag-tap. Never. Mangharana pa doon. Ay naku, pangharana mo dyan. Matulogan ko yan. Hmm. Nahirap akong paibigin sa totoo lang. Dahil kasi, ang, ang isipan ko, na una, tinitin ko, bakit ginawa niya yan? Bakit sa daming mga fast night namin, may mga magagadag? Bakit sa akin po? Ta alam ko ang target nila, so that I will be disturbed in my studies and I will not become on top of the class. Sorry na lang, hindi ko talaga yan. Nakaboyfriend na lang ako doon na, nang college na ako. Hmm? Ang iba sus na po, inimitari pa, mag-boyfriend, mag-girlfriend na. <laughs> ano, kompetensya ba yan? Paunahan ba yan? <laughs> Hindi naman na. See, we have to think of ourselves first and our family before we think of these things. Pag nabuntis ka, what will happen? Mapahiya ang kapa. Amen po? Pag usapan ka, magiging salad ka in the morning. <laughs> Magiging, shh, ang panglag sila, magiging ano ka ngayon, burger. Pagkagabi, ikaw pa rin yung pinag-usapan. Pulo ba? Inuman si. Ako, ang tao, sabi ko, I will never allow myself to be degraded. I will not do that. Kaya, mahala kayo, sige, mag-good kayo dyan, mag-bigay kayo ng git. Hindi naman ako nang hihingi. Pero sorry na lang. No, promise. Amen. Amen po? So, there may be cases where one person who does not apparently seem to have problems might be about to collapse from heart. May mga tao that you think they don't have problems but sila po, tahimik lang, very secretive. Ayaw nilang magsalita so nalaman mo na lang wala na nakatatak na. Dahil, The problem is being kept inside them. Amen po? It would be masking their hurt against their will to tell them the world is a troubled place. So just bear with it. Amen po? If an evangelist regards one's despair as something light and just ignores it, it would be hard for those who are exhausted with their hardship to come to the church. Yan sila sabihin mo, Sis, punta ka doon sa aming worship service. Inisip yan, anong gagawin ko doon? Wala pa nga akong panggap, pangkain ng dinner. Maghanap-hanap yan. Amen po. So yan po ang mga kahirapan natin sa pag-ano ng church. Because hindi pa nila kilala ang Diyos. Amen po. So first thing they would think is me, 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 and me. Walang iba. Amen? Psalm 32 verse 10 The sorrows of the wicked are many, but the one who trusts in the Lord, goodness will surround him. Amen? We should understand that the Lord who helped the widow also helps us now. He is willing to help us and knows our weakness better than anyone else. There is only one who knows what is your problem. In your heart, in your mind, who is that? Yeshua Masaya through the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit will steer our heart every day. Pag kinabahan ka, you must pray. Ano kaya yan? Yan ang, you cannot hear God. Idaan ng Holy Spirit na pakabahin ka to to bring your attention to something that is very important. Amen? Amen? So while He prepares rooms in heaven, while Yeshua Messiah prepares rooms in heaven for us, we who are left in the world are faced with all kinds of despair. John chapter 14, 1 to 3. 
Do not let your heart be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. Verse 2. In my father's house are many rooms. If that were not so, I would have told you because I am going there to prepare a place for you. Verse 3. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I am coming again and will take you to myself so that where I am, there you also will be. Amen. What a promise of God. We have to seek the Lord's help rather than take them for granted. Amen. The Lord will raise up those who are frustrated and walking in the way of despair and settle down all our desperations. Amen po. I can testify. If you really need the money, God will really make a miracle. Amen. So, I went to Singapore and Malaysia to do uh, say, I, to have mission. So I withdraw all my money. My money is not big at the time because I have just released 66 people, 66 people including Pastor Lando for three and a half years with me after the employer left. So I have only not so much money with me. But what happened? I have to withdraw all because I don't know how to whether I ma there, there will be I will be running out of money. It's a place where I have no relatives. I left only five hundred dollars. I what five hundred dollars. But when I came back after thirty four days I could see the bill of electricity inserted in the in the door. So when I read I was really shocked because it is 1,200. And remember, I am a journalist. Kami po mga journalist, we don't go to the office every day. We will only interview outside. And through the internet, we will send our stories to the place. We will only meet every Monday po afternoon to discuss what will be our news for the following week. Ganyan na kami magkita po sa week. Now, if I cannot pay the electricity, what will happen? The internet would be gone. How will now I work? So, na, na ano ko? But anyway, I remember that in the Old Testament, the priest would dance and offer wave offering. So, I did a wave offering. Sabi ko, Lord, look at these bills. 1,000 plus, 1,200 something. But I don't have the money, you know, so I only have 500. And you know, after the vacation, you can only have your salary after one month. So sabi ko, Lord, I finished my job. You told me to go for a mission. I'm here with victory. Now help me about this. And after that, in college times, once you go for a vacation, on the first day you are expected to return, you have to appear to the office. Even if you don't go to the office, you just go there and show your face and our thumb mark. Because our, what we call this? We have to do thumb mark so that we will be recorded as present. Without that, you will have no salary for extended one week. So after one month plus one week, you will get. So I will not miss going to the, to the office. So after I did a week of rain, I went out of my building. And when I went out, I was trying to find a taxi to go to the bus station in, I don't know the name of the bus station now. And there was a, a big, a, a big wind. And so I had to look up the sky. When I look up the sky, I was surprised. I said, it looks like money coming down. So I did not walk and I wait until it will pull down. And when I pull down, I was also uh, awkward to pick it up because maybe because of the strong wind, maybe someone was holding money and the money uh, uh, was flown and it went to me. And then if I want to take it, someone will say, that's my money. So I waited some time, maybe 10 minutes. But there was no one. So I said, the money trying to roll on the ground. So I said, you are mine. You are mine. 
See, I can tell you, miracles would happen direct from heaven. Amen. From there, I went straight to Siwa. Because I live in Chaga. I paid the bill. I still have the money. Added 500, so let's go. Amen po? Don't be scared. When you are faced with something, a problem, do not be in despair. Always ask God to help you. Amen po? Because there is no one who can help us except God. Whatever is the problem, a sicknesses or whatever, lack of money or difficulties with the children, there is only one who can answer to us who is it? Yeshua Hamasai. So, in order to do so, we have to have the power of God's happiness in our heart. So you have to claim, Lord, I'm not happy. Grant me the gift of happiness. Make my, my heart happy. When I learned about my husband in Saudi having an affair, I was really devastated, but on second, I was crying, but I said, no, I have to stop crying. I know that God is waiting for my action. So I prayed, Lord, take away the pain. Take away the pain, Lord, because it is very painful. I cannot do it without you. In two seconds, the pain disappeared. Amen po. Marami ako experience na kung magsabahin mo, hindi lang, hindi lang siya di in despair. Talagang. Sabi ko na, para kung basahan na sobra ka uh, na, na tattered. Amen po. So, this does not mean that we are mentally relieved just by covering the scars and despairs in our heart. Just as Yeshua Masya became flesh, and came to the world so that we could see God through Him, the power of God's happiness clearly appears before us. A life of faith is a life of experiencing that is very uh, that that very that is very powerful. The first step in the first step to revealing the power of God's happiness is to Respect and care others, other members in Christ. I see the chismis natin, tulungan natin. Amen po. If in a buntis yan or whatever, it is the duty of the church to help. Amen po. Nangangailangan niya ng tulong eh. Tapos, i-chismis pa natin. What shall we ask? We should ask that we should respect and care other members so that the power of happiness of God will come into our heart. Amen po. Now, sabihin niyo, hindi siya mahirap man. Then we will train ourselves. Kailan tayo mag-train kung may tribulation na? We will train ourselves now. Amen? As this effort continues and people's cars get filled, more and more people will open their minds towards others. Consequently, if there is sincere fellowship among the saints, God's help will emerge and block despair. What is the power of happiness do? It will block the despair. Palitan niya ng happiness. And those who experience the power will realize the way to overcome the fear of despair. Amen po. After I joined my my brothers and sisters in the evangelism and evangelism evangelism and miracle crusade, po, I went to Dumaguete City. Makadispir talaga. Ninako ba naman yung connection sa electric mula doon sa ano mga ang ano ba water meter sa labas yung lahat ng mga tinanggal ba naman nila? O saan mo yan, hanapin. Hindi ko manakita kung sinong nagnakaw. Talagang nakatingin ako. Umiyak talaga ang puso ko pero napigilan ko na matulo ang luha ko. Pero sabi ko sa Panginoon, Lord, ito ba, ito ba ang makuha ko? 
wherever you send me, I go. And I know wherever I go, you go. Pero tinan mo, Lord. Alam mo, in a big voice, the Lord told me, My child, do not be worried. I will send someone to rent the house. Dahil kasi sinara lang namin yun, kaya pwede niya kawin. And the one who will send, uh, who will rent this, just give 1,000. Just so there is a person. So tingnan mo, two story ang bahay, fully parnit 1,000 lang ang pinarin ko. Dahil, sinong nagsend? Si Lord. Hindi ka pwedeng mag, ano ba yan? So, gusto mo lang malaking pira. Importante, malinis ang bahay and someone is taking care of it. And sabi ni Lord sa akin, I will put in his heart siya ang magpakunik ulit sa electric at sa tubig ng nangyari niya. So, ang hinakaw parang hindi ako nanakawan. Amen po? We must trust God. Tayo kasi, pag mag-encounter na tayo being human being, when we encounter something, we cannot think of coming close to God para tayong ayaw na magbasa ng Bible, ayaw mag-atin ng Bible study, ayaw mag-atin sa, ano, sa worship service. Dahil kasi, our heart and our mind, we filled it with all the sorrow, all the anger, whatever. But remember, all these things do not come from God. They all come from Satan. Satan is doing something so that the Holy Spirit in our heart will live. And who will take over? Satan. By putting all those kinds of mga despair, anger, iyak, iyak ka pa. May, mat may matulong ba ang luha? Wala. Will your tears give you money? No. You have to go back to God. Go back to Him. Para ka bang nagsumbong ng nanay mo? Tay, turungan mo naman ako. And if hindi pa yung expedition, God will speak. Marinig mo talaga. Baka natakot ka na naman. Alam, sino yung nagsalita? When this happens, do you always believe it's God? It will not be Satan because Satan, the voice of Satan is a woman. Pag talagang si Lord ang mangusap, it is a man's voice. Amen? So, let us be the church that overcomes despair with the gospel of Yeshua HaMasiyah. We have to make the church overcome despair with Yeshua HaMasiyah's gospel. For this first, we have to always be aware of the presence of the Holy Spirit and not to lose respect and awe toward the Holy Spirit of God. We have to always be conscious of the eyes of the Holy Spirit who watch our minds and our behaviors. We must not ignore the moment when the Holy Spirit is about to work. Remember, when you are worried, when you are uh, angered, when, when you are in the, all these things, it's, it will stop the Holy Spirit to work. For the Holy Spirit to work, He has to again claim His place in your heart. Paano siya makaklaim na andun man ang laki ng mga mata sa mga, <laughs> sa mga anger, lahat ng mga negative na anong nandyan. Kaya panayasin mo talaga yan. Kaya nanaintindihan ninyo na at first, when I heard nga, na-discover ko kasawa ko, naiyak naman ako. Sino ba naman hindi makaiyak? Ba? Then shoot lang. I immediately ask the Lord, Lord, take over, remove the pain because it's very painful. And in seconds po, wala akong maramdaman. <coughs> Amen po. Every day, pinag-pray ko ang kasawa ko. Na siguro, you cannot expect na pinag-pray ko. Pinag-pray ko dahil kasi prayer will open the hearts of God. Ang anger maka-open ba? Oo. Oh, that is sin. So what will happen? God will not be able to work in our lives. Yan ang pagkakamali sa mga kristyano. Kaya palagi na sabi, ay, inatake pa ako. Dahil you allow the devil to attack. You have to cut him short. Ask God to do it for you. Wala naman, hindi tayo maayos dyan, hindi, tayo, hindi natin alam na. We cannot do that, only God can do it. 
Amen po? So, we must not ignore the moment when the Holy Spirit is about to work. That is the first. Second, by finding God's help in our daily lives, we have to give thanks to God. Dahil kasi, nag-imot-imot ka na, you cannot even think of thanking God. You have to thank God. Whether you are down or you are up, always thank God because God will be happy and He will always be ready to help us because He knows that though we are suffering, but we still think of thanking the Lord. Amen. Amen. If we are living without accidents and in peace, it is the testimony of God is blocking numerous accidents that we otherwise would have been faced with. Amen po? Hindi natin niya nakita. But God is always blocking accidents once we are born again. Therefore, we have to remember that God is always helping us and we should give thanks for it. Many people would regard God's help as a coincidence. Mahilig. Ay, coincidence lang yan. How will God help us if we will not recognize that He is that powerful to remove our troubles? Amen? We have to find the traces of God's help that are hidden in our daily lives, therefore giving continual, con con continual thanks to God. 1 Thessalonians 5.17 Pray without ceasing. Verse 18, in everything give thanks, for this is, this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. What is the will of God? For us to thank Him day and night. Hindi lang na we will call upon the Lord because we need help. First of all, you have to thank the Lord before you ask. You mean po? Tayo kasi ang bibig natin, Lord, itong kailangan ko, nakapapasalamat ka ba? Pasalamat ka muna. Anong pasalamat, Bishop? Mabuti, hindi ka namatay sa gabi, hindi ka binangungot. That is a blessing. Nagising ka pa eh. God has given you another day to live. So we have to thank God. Lord, thank you for the very good morning po. Thank you, Lord, that I am still breathing as of this time. Oh, tapos yung mga kaklasmate mo pala, matagal nang na, na, nalibing. Ay, hindi ka magpasalamat ng Panginoon ng ganyan. We have so many things that we should be thankful of. Amen po. Tayo kasi, e, pira ang pag-usapan yan, magpasalamat. Ta. Lord, thank you, my salary increase ako, thank you for ano. But you did not remember. Without life from God, you are not alive. You mean po? You have to thank every day. We, if we do not appreciate God's help, even after we have received it, it means that we do not believe God's help, which is the same as rejecting His help. So, if we will not thank the Lord, ano po? Ang pag-iisip ni Lord? You are rejecting my help. I have helped you, but it's just nothing to you. You are rejecting me. Tutulong pa ba siya niya? We can ask ourselves. Amen po? Third point. Third, we have to experience God's miracles often. Christians have daily testimonies of God's miracles. With the experience of God's miraculous work, we have to have continual fellowship among other church members. Fourth, we have to comfort each member. We must not stop using encouraging words in church. Pains in our heart, cost in our daily lives should be healed as well as our spiritual problems. People can be greatly com comforted just by some words of healing, respecting, and understanding of their pain. You have to understand your pain. Hindi lang magsabi ka, ay dahil kasi sa kanya, Be before you do that, analyze bakit ganitong naramdaman ko nun. Ano ba talaga ang kasalanan ko? Because it takes to tool tango. Bago nangyari yan, nag-start yan sa'yo, di ba? Amen? Pwede ka bang magsayang ng tango na nag-isa? Hindi. You have to dance. Dance with the music. But remember, tayo, mahilig tayo mag-duro kagad. Ay siya kasi, yan kasi siya. Remember, when you pinpoint, one finger only, 
is pointing to the other, but the four fingers are pointing to you. So, sino po ang may kasalanan? <laughs> Amen po? So, the gospel is not fully completed just by listening. You are listening now, but you have to do something. Amen? The gospel enables us to gain victory with God's help. To be victorious, all parts of the church have to struggle and devote themselves. The Lord is our shield and we are troops that hold the shield. Psalm chapter 18 verse 2, The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my Savior, my God, my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Ganyan po ang total na ginawa ni Lord sa atin. Amen? If we do not go out and fight, having a shield does nothing. Po? We have to stand and serve the Lord's church, fighting against the enemy's schemes. What is that scheme of Satan? Overtiming ka, Alam mga part-time para, you will be tired. When you go home, you cannot anymore pray dahil you will just go asleep without praying that they will function the Lord. Amen po? God wants to unfold His happiness in us and we have to welcome His work. We are to let God work in us. Now, command our soul three times. Oh my soul, let God work in me always. Oh, oh, your, oh, oh my soul, let God, God work, work in me always. In me always. Oh, oh my soul, let God, God work in me always. Oh my soul, let God, God work in me always. Let us pray together. Abba oh, Father, Lord, who is watching Lord, over Lord, us Lord, in heaven, we appreciate Lord, your loving Lord, kindness and unfailing love for all of us. You have always shown your love, mercy, and compassion for us, your people. We have been in this chair time and again, as the devil brings us difficulties while on earth. Yet, the only begotten Son, Yeshua Messiah, has brought us to a new level of relationship with your Father. We pray that you will continue to grant us your grace. Let the Holy Spirit lead us to believe in Christ's gospel more and more every day as we live in Him. Grant us the great love of the Father and the Son through the Holy Spirit. Through this, the Lord Joshua Messiah will be able to work in us to remove from us the spirit of desperation. Let us always remember Lord Joshua Messiah. That your gospel is your command that stops any form of despair. And our despair will be replaced with the joy of the Holy Spirit.